<laughs> Finally, the decision is out on what should become of Deputy Chief Justice Nancy Baraza following allegations that she assaulted security guard Rebecca Kerubo when she insisted that Baraza complies with the security checks at Village Market. The JSC has now resolved that pursuant to Article 164 of the Constitution, it will send a petition to the President with a view of suspending Justice Nancy Baraza as a judge of the Supreme Court and the Deputy Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya and to appoint a tribunal to investigate her conduct. Before the Judicial Service Commission took over the matter, it was Kerubo's word against the deputy CJs. Hiyo mama Kenya alifanya, nikamwambia excuse me madam, I have to check your bag. Kenya alifanya ila tu alifanya alinichuna mapua na akaniambia you should you should know people. Uh, Baadaye ndio nilijua alikuwa na board card. Kamwambia alikuwa kando juu watu walikuwa hapo wengi. Kamwambia you I want you to shoot this lady now. Sasa mimi nikachukulia ile tu mama unajua si wanawake tuko na asira ya rais sana. Nikachukua tu ni sawa. Nikamwambia it's okay madam. Sasa huyo mama ule podcast wake hakuna hatu alichukua. Mama mwenyewe alipotea muda kidogo baadaye akarudi na gun. Akaniambia I want to kill you now. If you want I can kill you now. Baraza later sent a statement to newsrooms terming the incident unfortunate and that she had lately received threats on her life and was therefore apprehensive. Monday this week, the JSC, chaired by Chief Justice Willie Mutunga, appointed an eight-member committee from within its ranks, led by Reverend Samuel Kobia, to investigate all aspects of the village market incident, even as police investigations were underway. The subcommittee took cognizance of the fact that it's mandated to release to an investigation as to whether the Deputy Chief Justice had breached the Judicial Code of Conduct or acted in a gross manner or showed, exhibited a conduct that can be seen as a gross misconduct or misbehavior under Article 168 of the Constitution of Kenya. They interviewed at least 15 people, including the deputy CJ, Kerubo, the village market staff and management, and criminal investigation department officers, besides viewing the CCTV footage that contained the incident. And after three days of working, it presented its report to the full JSC commission, which in turn made its decision within one sitting. This was not a criminal trial. The standard of proof is per Article 168 and the judicial code of ethics is not the same as for criminal proceedings. It is not beyond reasonable doubt. JSC's decision may not come as a surprise to many, considering the tone of the CJ's statement, which came soon after learning of the incident. The CJ had indicated that no one was above the law. However, the decision to recommend the suspension of the deputy CJ is equally stern and a pace setter in the wake of the judicial reforms. But the jury is still out there as to whether the deputy CJ could possibly keep her job in the aftermath of the village market incident. The powers to dismiss the deputy chief justice, if it gets to that point, rests with a tribunal that will be appointed to investigate her conduct. But then that tribunal will have to recommend to the president to take that action. Sylvia Chebet, Citizen Weekend, Nairobi.